Hi, I'm Derek Gilbert. I'm Sharon Gilbert, and we are here to tell you a really big secret. We just started 2021. We've all been on lockdown in some cases, and many, many people have found themselves unable to get good exercise and probably eating a lot of comfort foods. That's true. It's very easy to do, especially when you're uh, in winter mm -hmm. and you're not getting outside. You oh, get even to... I do that now and then. Sure. But uh, um, those of you who have asked me what my secret is when it comes to losing 120 pounds and keeping it off, the big, big, big secret is I eat healthy food. Oh! <gasps> What a concept. You're sitting there going, oh, no. Well, what does she mean? All salads? No. I mean real butter, complex carbohydrates, really good meat. Get by as, as organic and local and really clean meat as you can. Lots of water. Mm -hmm. And we snack on nuts and dried fruit and and sunflower seeds, things like that. I make my own granola that we love to eat. Mm -hmm. And I usually make a yogurt here at home, which is pretty easy to make. It's so crazy easy to make. I, I demonstrated on Sci Friday once. Mm -hmm. So we may put a clip from that in, but I don't want to re-demonstrate it here. Uh, but, but it's easy. It's really, if I can do it, Anybody can do it. Trust me. That's the thing that surprised me. And I started eating healthier as Sharon began her journey because um, it didn't seem right to me to continue eating the way I was eating when she was making a real effort to, uh, to eat better mm -hmm. for the purpose of, of not just losing weight, but just getting healthy. Because getting there are a number of health issues that, that are connected to um, the additional weight that you carry. Mm -hmm. I mean, there, there were things that you were dealing with, systemic pain oh, that were constant. Yes. In, that, that no longer affect you in the same way. Energy that they did levels were just so, so low all the time. You have to make sure that you get a variety of foods. There's one basic rule make sure you've got a lot of color on your plate. So, fresh vegetables, peppers of different colors, some wonderful greens, those are always really healthy for you. I have developed a love for kale. Hmm. Yeah, you know that kale mix that I get from Schwann's? Right. Sorry, that isn't an endorsement. It just happens to be we live out in the middle of nowhere, and it's easier to get your <laughs> frozen foods delivered. Um, but yeah, they've got that wonderful mix. that, And, and we have uh, complex carbohydrate rice mixes with, mm -hmm. with wild rice and brown rice in them. Uh, we love to use real butter. I bake uh, bread here at home. I have a bread machine. I'm lazy. Um but the bread is really good. It's made from organic rye flour. Well, I was going to ask about that because uh, what we do is not uh, what you would consider keto. No, no, it's not at all. It's not ketogenic, but no. it does eliminate a lot of simple carbohydrates. So what's the difference between the bread that you bake and, say, your standard white bread? Te uh, technically speaking, the standard white bread is make with, made with white flour and white sugar in some cases. It's uh, extremely refined, and it's very, very easy for your body to break it down and turn it into alcohol and other things. In fact, it doesn't really have any nutrients in there. They've stripped most of them out. If you get a whole grain, especially grains that aren't super hybridized and GMO'd to death, that's why I love uh, uh, rye flour. But uh, we use the rye flour bread. I, I make other things with it as well. Uh, bannock bread mm. is a Scottish bread. It's sort of like a scone that uh, I love making, and it's with butter and, and wonderful foods in there. But basically, a complex carbohydrate is harder to break down. It goes more slowly through your digestive tract. The slower it goes through there, the more the nutrients are pulled out of it. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that your body has a chance to get every last nutrient out of your food. You would not give your car sugar because it won't run on it, will it? In fact, it, bung, it, mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. it you know, clogs it up. Don't put white sugar into your body. We do keep a little bit of white sugar here in the house. It's pure cane sugar. It's more expensive. It says pure cane on the the bag, 
I don't know what is in the other stuff that's just marked sugar. Mm. So carbohydrates, not necessarily bad in and of themselves, as long as they're complex carbohydrates. Right. In fact, a lot of vegetables have carbohydrates in them. Mm -hmm. You need carbohydrates. You need those so that you can break them down into glucose and other sugars that your body does run on. It's just that a simple carbohydrate Sucrose, breaks it down. which is white sugar. Yeah. And the simple carbohydrates mm -hmm. like the... Um, Salty snacks, you know, potato chips, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, white bread. Yeah. Your body converts that to sugar very quickly. Very, very quickly. Your body's glycemic index goes through the roof. Oh, it does. It becomes so, so difficult to get the real insulin into your cells. Your body's need, your, your cells need glucose to run on. The ATP cycle requires glucose to run on that. You need those carbohydrates. Your brain needs glucose. Uh, but you need lots of other Vitamins, vital amino acids, you've got to have those. D, E, K, and A. Those are fat solu soluble. And mm. if you don't eat fat, you won't get them. So and you won't absorb them. The, the low fat diet that we've been encouraged to eat for years has not actually been helping us. When you buy something that says low fat on it, it's almost always stripped out the good things, stripped out the good fat and put in sugar to give a taste, mm. sugar and salt. Okay. Don't eat low fat. You need really, avocados are a great source of healthy fats. Nuts are a great source of healthy fats. Real butter, great source of healthy fats. Olive oil, great source of healthy fats. So you gotta get those every day. Mm. Coconut oil. So some, some general concepts there. And a smaller plate. Yeah, and a smaller plate. And lots and lots of water. Yeah. And that will keep you from being hungry. Actually, many of the hunger pangs that we feel are simply because, You're are actually because we're dehydrated. Uh, and that also leads to other things like sleeping problems mm -hmm. and back issues. If it you've got does. enough water, actually you do better in a number of areas. So if you're sitting there and you're, in my case, I knew I need, needed to lose more than 100 pounds. If you're sitting there thinking about that and thinking about the big number I've got to lose, you will almost always fail from the start. Think about it this way. Beginning today, I am going to live for tomorrow by eating healthy every bite. This is a one bite at a time way of life. Every bite you put into your body should nourish your body. Drink lots of water. So the place to start is where I started, if that's where you're wondering. I just started drinking more water. I forced myself to drink, and it was a force, to drink six to eight glasses of water a day. And I found that I was less hungry. Then we cut out those sugars, mm -hmm. and we cut out those simple carbs, like the white flour. We went to complex. We had the brown rice and the really good non-GMO uh, flours that I would bake the bread. We started making yogurt at home so we get calcium and all of the wonder. Get into the sunshine as much as you can. That is so healthy for you. Get simple exercise. You and I both write for a living. So we're sitting in chairs like this. So we don't get out and walk a whole lot. But if you go to Israel with us, you can. You'll walk a whole lot. <laughs> but basically, this is a one day at a time, one bite at a time way of life. Yeah. Don't look at it as uh, once I hit this goal, I can go back to my old way of doing things because mm -hmm. your body then, when you put back in what you had stopped eating, will pack the weight on even more and it, it, it becomes a self-defeating uh, It really will. Effort, so but yes. I don't have a list of do's and don'ts when it comes to food. Watch this video again if you're unsure, but trust me when I say you can do this. I went 20 years holding on to that weight. I thought it would never budge, but it did. And I've kept it off for, gosh, it was More than August three years. of 2016 when I finished the program. And we're going on four and a half years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can change your life as well. This is a lifestyle change that will benefit you for... And, and you lost 40 pounds? Uh, close to that, yeah. about 35, 40 pounds. He's kept and, it, and it off. And it will benefit you for, the, well, not just so that you feel better, but it's also part of our mandate as Christians to share the hope that we have in Christ, to witness when the opportunities present themselves. And it's difficult to do when you have low energy. It's like, 
I don't really want to start the conversation now. Yeah, and you can't uh, even think. I mean, we we use our brains a lot. So if my brain is not getting the proper nutrition, it would be very difficult for me to do the research, and the same for you. Yeah, so you can be more effective for your king, for our king, Yes. if you feel better. So think of it in that term. And of course, you'd be better prepared to be of help to those around you when they need, and especially your family and friends. Amen to that. So think of this program as a way to serve the king. Amen. With every bite you consume, consume good things that he made for us to give us the energy we need to serve our king. Um, I, I know that you can do this. And if you need encouragement just through interaction on, face, on Facebook or other social media, we're there for you. I've got a weight loss group. It's just called Sharon Gilbert's Weight Loss Group on Facebook. And it's a one of those closed groups, so you've got to ask to be approved. But I pr- pretty much approve everybody if you just... There's one question. How did you know about us? How did you learn about this group? And if you just put Skywatch TV or Sci Friday or saw Sharon on Skywatch, whatever. If you answer anything that I know you've watched this video or you watch us on Skywatch, we will let you in and we'll encourage you and we will pray for you because I know God can help you do this and he will. 2021 is going to be an incredible year. You are going to change your life one day, one bite at a time.